Alright, Lander, so the anime versions for both Tenjiro and also Wetsu have officially arrived into Bleach Brace Souls. And of course, with that, we're going to be summoning. But how deep are we going to go? Well, right now, the plan is to really only do five steps. I don't realistically like pulling on two character banners, especially for end of month. But given that Wetsu looks to be a really fun and cool character, given that while I'm not a fan of how they designed Tenjiro, I do need him for my guild quest scores. But also, the Philippines is actually pretty good. I would love to get duplicates of Ezna, Kyoge, and also Bambietta. As of right now, for those that are wondering, Kyoge is one out of five, so an extra dupe of him would be amazing to get that focus slot. Bambietta is three out of five, so two duplicates of her. She's max transcended. And then, of course, Ezna is one of my favorite Sturm Ritter. Getting three more copies of him will allow me to get him once more max transcended. And then I wouldn't mind getting duplicates of Ichigo, too. Anyone else in the banner, we don't really want. But any of the Sturm Ritter or Owetsu and Tanjiro are going to be the cows we want to see today in our small set of summons. Now, I have 3,000 ops. We are going to be saving our ults for the next end of month. At most on my main account, we're going to be doing seven steps. So hopefully we don't have to go that deep. But let's go ahead, jump into it. Multi number one. Are we going to start off with Owetsu? Let's find out. Multi number one is going to be a five star. Can it be Owetsu? I feel like it can. We got Tanjiro. No way. That's actually, I'm not going to lie. Uh, obviously, I, I would prefer a Owetsu because it's actually character I want to get. But getting Tanjiro is really good. On a first multi. At this point, I don't even need to summon more. <laughs> I'll do the second step and then we're done. Oh, we could get a 2 one here. Imagine we get a Wetsu 2. That'd be kind of crazy. A lot of four stars. Not like it matters, but like almost every character has a four star besides the two three stars. What a multi, man. I get to save my orbs. I get to save my orbs. I actually, I wanted to pull more. I wanted to pull more. Now, now there's no point. Uh, again, we'll do, this, we'll, go, we'll do step two. Because why not? <laughs> why not, right? Hopefully that can be a five. Ah, unfortunate. One butterfly, again, doesn't really amount to anything. Uh... It is what it is. It is what it is. Again, I kind of wanted to go more than that, but 3,000 orbs, getting the card that I need most for GQ. At this point, it's just really not worth going any deeper than that. If I want Owetsu, I'll probably do some summons on his individual. But since we are here, let's go ahead and do our free multi. We are going to compile these at the end of the week once we do finish all 10 multis. That's not a fake out. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, that sucks too, because that was three butterflies. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, fortunately, we got lucky. I wanted to keep summoning, but we're going to stop there. But let's hop over to the alt account. Maybe we can get lucky over there too. All right, then. So hopping over to the free-to-play account. Let's quickly do this free multi. Get it out of the way because it's most likely going to be a four-star. Like usual, right? Rates for these are 3%. But when it comes to this banner right here, the goal is to do five steps no matter what. Maybe six. Let's see how it goes. Once more, Tendra would be good for my guild quest scores. Or Wetsu would just be a fun character to have. When it comes to the Philippo, I don't own Esnot, but I would love to get dupes of Kilgate and also Bambietta. So let's see how these summons do go, right? Be nice to sweep the banner across two of my accounts. So we're really hoping for a Wetsu here, but even a duplicate. Oh, a Tsukishima on step one yo it, it can can this be a wetsu and tanjiro that would be kind of crazy that would be kind of crazy let's find out in our first five star again we're gonna esno uh, i love that voice man love that voice was really hoping to hear that during the anniversary in his vote stand or vote stand ditch Unfortunately, not. Hopefully for this end of year, though. Hopefully sometime soon, at the bare minimum. And in this case, we ended up getting Trojurum. A character I've not seen in a while, to be fair. I, I honestly can't remember the last time he was featured. And even then, the last time I pulled him. You know, we pulled a lot of his younger versions. When it comes to his, you know, original thousand-year blood war adult version, haven't actually pulled it for quite some time. But that's a new character already on step one. That's not too bad. Again, if we do get a featured five star, we have a better chance of getting something better, more worthwhile than like the old outdated fillers. Step two, though, seems to be the pattern here. One butterfly usually is a very easy tap. Don't have to even bother looking at the animation. Sometimes one butterfly can actually fake out into something worthwhile. But more often than not, if you see one butterfly, it's not a good thing, right? In this case, two, could this be an Aizen fake out? No. It's funny, because this happened last time, right? I think it was during the summons on this account when we were pulling for part two of the anniversary. Uh, two butterflies is usually nothing. But more often than not, if I'm getting an Aizen fake out, it's going to be on two butterflies. I'm uh, kind of glad we didn't go any deeper on my main account because these have been absolutely terrible. Besides step one, step two, three, and four, absolutely dry. Are we already on the guarantee? Already onto the guarantee. All right, let's see how, let's see how it goes. Step number five. Hoping to get one of them. Hoping to get one of them a duplicate of Bambietta. Oh, so wouldn't be too bad. And we're getting for our guaranteed five star of the video. We've got Senjimaru. Not Bankai Senjimaru. Quite the old one. She might be new. I'm not too sure. Super long quote, by the way. Not that good. If this is the only five star, that would be kind of an L. 
So let's hope there's a two in one here. Surely, right? After five multis? <laughs> It'd be nice to get another one. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh, there, oh there we go. I'm not, I skipped this. I skipped the summon goal. No. <laughs> so, right at the end. I started to lose hope. And with that, we swept the banner across to my account. I'll take it. We're going to do one more multi though because we can afford to do so. Why not? Two characters, two new characters in five multis isn't too bad. That's a potential fake up. It's an Orihime fake up. Can we get Tendril? That'd be great. I believe we can. And we're getting... Oi, kill game. Okay. This is what I mean, right? Obviously, everyone's first impression on this banner was that it's quite the easy skip. And for the most part, it still actually is. But the Philippal makes it a bit more worthwhile. I don't want to tri trick people into summoning on this banner. If you don't want to summon, don't summon, right? But uh, there is some decent fillers here. In this case, five Mortis getting Tendril, getting a Wetsu, Esno, and also kill game. Is actually really good. And that's kind of the best part with these new upcoming fouls and your butter banners. Is because now we've officially passed a year since we first started to get them. We are now going to start having better valued fillers. Not all the time our fillers going to be good. But there are going to be times like now for example where Kyoge and Bambietta are featured as fillers. As not here too. Eventually in like 6 months time we're going to see Shinji and Kensei as fillers. And then can you imagine a year from now? Granted these characters might not age the best. Like as not and Kyoge might not hold up that much in a year's time. But imagine summoning for like Owetsu. Kyoge, Esno, and then also like next year's characters. I mean, we're a while off that, but just something to like worth mention, right? But yeah, super happy about my summons. Again, Owetsu was a character that I basically didn't need all that much. I wanted him because it's Owetsu. I mean, he's such a cool character, right? And honestly, visually, gameplay-wise, he looks to be a lot of fun. So I'm excited to try him out. We're going to showcase him later today, by the way. But in terms of what my account needed, it definitely did more so need Tenjiro, even though like he's a whatever character. I don't really care about him, given that he's like a GQ Nad character, but he is going to make my account better. So I think this might be best case scenario getting the character I need most on my main account and then getting the character I want most on my alt account. And because I got it on step number one, I don't have to like go too deep, right? We can save our ults for next end of month, which I'm expecting next end. I'm kind of going on a tangent right now, right? But I'm expecting next end of month to be quite big given that the anime is starting in October. So you would probably think they would time a thousand year butter banner alongside the anime release for season three, not give us season three characters. That's not happening, but I would expect some pretty cool characters next end of month. We are a whole month away, but we'll see how it does go. Either way, that's my summons for today. Hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace. There we go. We got to hear it after all.